Absolutely. I mean, you go back to, to Edge's childhood where he, uh, he won an essay contest to win the right to train inside the ring for the first time. And since then, of course, creating a Hall of Fame career here in WWE. The ultimate opportunist. This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude, a revamped appearance. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. Don't even think about going anywhere. You may think you know the rated R superstar, but you won't really know the ultimate opportunist Ouch. until he plants you with his spear, and by then, it's too late. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Oh. Impact. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. That'll slow Drew McIntyre down a bit. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign-Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night 
came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Ooh! Got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out. That would have been a shocker. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. And McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and Aftershock DDT. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years. And Edge kicks out. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. If I was Edge, I'd get my head back in the match where it belongs. Byron mentioned Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. The champ's starting to falter a bit. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what, he's not looking so hot right now. He's really gonna need to find a way to get back in this thing. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. Whoa, McIntyre able to avoid damage there. He goes down hard. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Long distance drop. The champion into the cover. An easy kick out there. Too early for that. I can't believe what I'm seeing. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people. And Edge setting him up. The Impaler DDT. That might be enough. Penny predicament. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Who could forget this? Check this out. And this is how he ended it. Extremely impressive win, guys. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match.
Hey, did you enjoy that video? Don't forget to click on the screen for more professional wrestling games content here at Main Event Games. And if you enjoy our content, click that subscribe button. That way, you will support the channel and support me. Thank you.